Um, I'm from Thailand, and this is why maybe I'm taking a little bit with the cold weather. <laughs> um, so we work to bring the clean energy into the very remote area along the border of Thailand and Burma. And the main technology is small hydropower and solar power. Um, the most vulnerable, uh, this is the area that uh, we located in, uh, on, right on the border. Um, the most vulnerable community that we work with is on the Burma side of the border, where they still have running civil war over 60 years. Um, we work to provide solar power for medical clinics. So far, we provided more than 60 clinics, and each clinic serves three to 5,000 people. And every year, we have to prepare all the equipment, bring them in. There's no road access. The only way that we can bring in by carry in. So the largest system that we did needed 150 people to carry all the equipment in. There's no animals to do this for us, so we have to do it. And after we bring in the equipment, our team have to hike to the site. It took us around nine hours up and down mountain. Um, that's where we started to hike. And with all the equipment, um, and this is a photo I took on the very top of the last mountain. And if you can see, that's a big river, and that's our destination for this trip. Um, a story that I was told from my mom, uh, because I couldn't remember, when I was three, uh, I already knew how to walk, but she recognized that there's something wrong with me when I was walking. And one day, I was, king, I was walking down the ocean, like holding my cousin and my uncle hand, and I was limping. And that scene, it was heartbreaking for my mom. She was crying, and she went to the doctor and asked what's wrong. And the doctor said, a possibility that maybe the polio vaccine that I receive has been out in out of the refrigerator for too long, so it's degraded. After fighting it for one week, I recovered from it. And I couldn't imagine if I had the polio that time, what my life would be like. I don't know how I can climb up those mountains. So for me, I feel like every people should receive equal opportunity to have a better life. And this is the main reason that we keep doing this project, bringing in power for the clinics to save lives and to have their life better. Um, the area that we're bringing in the solar system for this year I received the human rights violation report saying that one man was killed by the Burmese soldier and 11-year-old child was wounded. It's gonna be tough, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna keep on going. And for this trip, it's gonna be tougher here because um, we're going to be missing someone who's really important for us. His name was Walt Raderman. He was our co-founder. He was a solar hero. He traveled 30, over 30 countries around the world to bring in solar power in war zones area, remote areas, to hospital, to schools. Um, he was, last January, he was finishing the uh, training for the solar hospital project in Haiti. And 
he passed away when the earthquake hit. And um, we're not, we're not going to stop doing this. We're going to keep on helping people, and we're going to um, keep Walt's visions alive. So if anyone wants to help us do this, please let me know. Thank you.